Hey, welcome. It's Monday night and that means it must be time for... Let's talk about... Let's talk about. And if you've never seen one of our videos, you'll have no idea who we are. So I'm here with Kim Thompson. Kim, aka the Hot Oi Mama. Kim is a certified clinical aromatherapist. Ooh, so that's pretty good. And I am Jeremy Thewlis. I have no qualifications. I just hang around with Kim. So, and provide some comedic relief. And she's normally relieved when I stop telling jokes. Anyway. Very relieved. Every Monday night. <laughs> every Monday night we're here bringing you the best oily information um, and a little bit of humor. But basically, we want to give you the good oil. Did you like that little pun there on oil? So that you can be as healthy as you possibly can be. So more improved health and your family as well. And also to give you a bit of insight and information so that you can share this stuff with your friends confidently. So I think that's the plan, isn't it? Yeah. You love it. Okay, I'm going to, should I roll the music? Yeah. I'm feeling very... Our theme song. Ready? Here we go. I don't think they'll misunderstand. I can't remember where we said we were going to Top four. Okay. Here we go, you ready? Let's talk about, about top four. <laughs> Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about... All the good things and the bad things that me. No wonder your students love this. Oh, look. No. Let's talk about the top four. <laughs> Let's talk about the top four. Let's talk about the top four. Let's right. talk about the top four. The top four what? Basically, these are the top four products um, so that you and your family can feel healthier. Now, I... Hold on, let's wind it back. I, what, about my, what about my hypothetical situation? If you were stuck on a desert island and there was only four products that you could have, not oils... See, no, well, yeah. No, not, not oils. What would those four be? Yeah, well, that'd be these four. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, wait, I'm trying to make it exciting here. Desert um, Island, four yeah. products, any four that you could choose. That the only oils. four that you could choose. Yeah. yeah. And they'd be delivered well, I'd every got month. Some toothpaste and some shampoo and. Oh, no. Yeah. Personal hygiene is totally overrated. And if I had to say the top four products, I mean, some of you had great guesses. We got oh, a yeah. guess today. And. What did um, people say? What was people said Thieves Cleaner, which I, you know, I definitely think that Thieves Cleaner is up there in my top four, yep. along with Progescence, yep. although they're not what I'm talking about tonight. I'm talking about general overall yep. health. Health, yeah. Okay? So would they're be good for cleaning the sort heart. of food or supplements. Yep. Um, some of you said frankincense and lavender and lemon. And yes, all of those are probably yep. my top four oils. Yep. Um, but we are going to talk about... Food and supplements tonight. Yeah. So, as you said, the four stuff, things that make you healthy. Yeah, yeah, stuff to keep you healthy. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're on a desert island, actually, these four things would be pretty damn good, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, when I started with Young Living nine years ago, <laughs> can you believe that? Nine years. Um, when I was still a teenager. Yes, that's right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, you make me laugh and you make me go off track. Sorry. I joined Young Living for the oils. Right? I, I didn't care about any of the other products. I kept telling myself all the time, I have an absolutely super healthy diet. I can get all of my vitamins and minerals from my food. So long as I eat healthy, yeah. I, you know, I don't need to take all that other stuff. So I didn't even look at the other things. Are we going to come back to that point? I'm going to talk about that one. Yeah, yeah. no, that's okay. Sorry. Um, so basically... After having my second baby and for six months, I breastfed my two-year-old and my six-month-old and I was exhausted. I used to sit on the lounge <laughs> and I could barely move, you know, like I was just one of those mums who was totally exhausted. Yeah. And I, back then, Young Living used to send out CDs and DVDs every month with your order to get your product education. Now you just have to listen to us every Monday night for the product which education. Is, which is much better. <laughs> yeah. But when... when when people say, oh, my, my kids suck the life out of me, like there's a real sense in which, especially when you're breastfeeding, like it, it is kind of not, not taking the life out of you, but it's certainly 
drawing on all your nutrients and all your goodness isn't yeah it? so yeah. i um i was exhausted and i heard yeah. on this cd these people talking about how they'd got increased energy from drinking ninja red and i thought oh i don't know about this it's a um, supplement and so I actually went along to the Young Living Australian Convention at the time, like Symposium, and it was in Brisbane. And they actually had a Ninja Red slushy machine there. And <laughs> Lyndall and I went together and we went up to the slushy machine and we got ourselves a slushy. And I think we might have ended up having three of them. <laughs> um, and that night I didn't go to sleep. I was like buzzing, <laughs> full on buzzing from drinking Ninja Red. And I wow. thought, wow. This stuff is amazing. I'm going to. Um, Here we go. Oh, the, I'm the going to thing. drink this, and so yes, that was when I started drinking Ninja Red, and I was amazed at how much energy I had. And how, I know how did you that. Feel the next morning. <laughs> well, actually, that was like it was a two days thing. So that was the first day, and then the next day I was yep. drinking more and still having a buzz, and I was still breastfeeding. So wow. you know, obviously, like anything, it goes across the breast milk and. Mm. Um, yeah, and she was probably buzzing as well. But anyway, um, I guess Danae likens this to, if your body was a car, this would be your petrol, okay? You yeah. can't just keep running your body into the ground. You need to give it good fuel, yeah. good energy, and that's exactly what Ninja Red is. The other misconception that I had in the beginning when I started drinking Ninja Red was that it was a juice. And I had... Um, you know, been to plenty of seminars on what to feed your kids and how to be what healthy to and all of that kids. kind of stuff. And all the dietitians and nutritionists would say, don't give your kids juice. It's packed full of sugar, it'll rot their teeth, all of that kind of stuff. And I was like, I'm not giving my kids this. It's a, it's, you know, it's a juice. But you know what? It actually isn't. It's a puree. And you can see... Um, I don't know yeah. if you can see on yeah, the video. Yeah, oh, can, yeah, yeah, there you can. See that line there? If you can see that line on the video. Um... It, this is actually a puree of the goji berries or the, like Young Living calls them the wolf berries and that's the top, basically top. the translation um, and they come from Ninsha in China and they puree them and they put them in with other high antioxidant fruits such as pomegranate, aronia, cherry, um, blueberry. blueberry and they also include essential oils which are high in D-limonene so it's got all your citrus oils, uh, tangerine, bit of, bit of yuzu, yuzu. <laughs> Um, Lemon. Yeah. yeah, and um, and basically um, the antioxidants, if you like, they act as like if you liken your body to a car. Mm. So you need the petrol for the car, but the antioxidants actually stop our body from rusting. So what happens is we have all these free radicals, um, particularly as we age and we get exposed to the sun, exposed to chemicals. There's yeah. all these free radicals running around your body. And um, the antioxidants actually help to combat those free radicals and stop your body from oxidizing. So if you've ever seen a picture or you've cut open an apple and the apple has actually gone um, brown. brown, that's oxidation. And that's what your body does over time is to actually oxidize. Mm. And Ninja Red helps it to, um, to stop oxidizing. Awesome. Um, what else was I going to say on that? I don't know. Um, oh, the thing about the Young Living um, goji berry is that it actually, like the species is called Lycium barbarum. There are actually 80 different species throughout the world, 10 of which come from China. Um, so a lot of goji berries that you buy are not this same species. And this species grows best up in the Ninja province, which is why we call it Ninja Red. It actually um, yep. comes from Ninja. And one of the other things that I used to think a lot, particularly about this, was, well, doesn't this come from China? Isn't it, like, sprayed with all nasty chemicals? Like, I don't buy stuff that's from China, especially food. Mm -hmm. and, um, and once again, I was wrong. It is grown in the Ninja province. Um, it meets sort of China's equivalent of organic status. The thing about where it's grown is that the ice melts up on the Himalayas and um, Himalayan mountains. It flows down the Yellow River and actually where the like you know the place in the Yellow River where it is is kind of like an elbow and all the beautiful silt and nutrients and good stuff from the Himalayan mountains gets actually deposited. gets deposited there yeah. on the flats and that's where they grow it. So that's why it doesn't need all those, you know, nasty chemicals and stuff. And mm -hmm. and like everything that Young Living grows, it actually meets their seed to seal 
status and um, yeah and so it has to meet that same quality of the essential oil so not only does Young Living make seed to seal for their lavender and their frankincense and their peppermint and all of that kind of stuff it's actually in all of the products that they sell yeah. from the hair care to the moisturizers to Ninja Red to yeah. some of the other products that we're going to talk about today. What else, what else is Ninja Province famous for? What was, what was the big attraction to Gary Young when he well, went to the Ninja Province? Well, part Provence? of the reason why he actually um, went to Ninja was that there were some scientists from China who were on an exchange program in America and they'd been on that exchange program for a few years and um, anyway, Gary had been studying longevity and he'd basically been studying countries where they, um, they lived long and healthy, energetic lives. So he'd been into, you know, northern Pakistan, into the Amazon, into all different places to learn about what their secret was to making them live long, healthy, happy lives. And he found out from these scientists that there were these people in Ninsha who were living well over 100 and they were living quite healthy and happy. So he thought there's got to be a secret to this. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to find out what it is. And that's when they talked to him about making the goji berry tea out of the Ninsha wolf berries. And he thought, well, we need to do something about this. So um, Young Living was actually the first major exporter of goji berries uh, anywhere in the world outside of China. I mean, other small, like people took, like, you know, might have um, exported, a, you know, a couple of kilos, but Young Living was doing like hundreds of kilos yeah. um, because the, Gary really was a visionary and he worked out that, you know, goji berries were so high in antioxidants and really, you know, had humongous nutritional benefits that he thought I've you know I've got to start exporting these yeah. to America and even when they arrived in customs in America the customs officials had never seen them before they didn't know what they were and um, yeah so it was quite an interesting story just so. to go back to the fruit juice thing just quickly mm -hmm. so one of the issues with fruit juice is it's high GI right so high glycemic index um, Ninja Red, low GI. It is low GI. Yeah. It does so have it stevia as its yeah. sweetener, yeah. Um, which is one of the lowest um, natural sweeteners. Mm. And the essential oils actually give it the flavour. So the lemon, the tangerine, the orange, yuzu. the yuzu. Um, and plus the goji berry and the other yeah. stuff. But as I said before, it's a puree of the whole fruit. So they literally get the goji berry, including the seeds, yeah. the skin, and the berry itself, puree it up and mix it in with the other ingredients and put it in the bottle so increases the bioavailability of yeah. all the good stuff and certainly that. that's why the essential oils are in there because yeah. they actually make the vitamins that are in there more bioavailable to the body which means we can use them better so the other thing is that it actually has a whole heap of amino acids in it now especially important it has the some of the essential amino acids and our body can't make essential mm. amino acids it's particularly good for people like Jeremy who go to the gym. Um, they like amino acids. We, we love amino acids. And the other thing is that the goji berry um, is actually 13% protein. So, you know, the berry itself is quite high in yeah. protein. It's got more protein than most other fruits. It is a superfood. Yeah. Super, um, super food. And best of all, if you buy as an essential rewards bundle, you actually save $30. So you get mm. the four bottles plus the 10 sachets, um, yeah. and you get that for, um, actually I don't know how much, it is, but you save $30 by buying yeah. it that way. And it's not like you're slugging down a bottle of this each day. No, you're taking like between 30 and 60 30 and mils. 30 and 60 mils, yeah. yeah. And I mean, when I am trying to sort of like detox a bit, I will take up to 180 mils. And certainly when we've yeah. been doing the red drink challenge, we've been yeah. doing sort of 120 mils a day because we've been trying to do 60 mils um, yep. in the morning and 60 mils in the afternoon, mixed yep. with water. But if you're taking 60 mils, that's 12 and a half serves out of a bottle. Yeah, but yeah. don't drink too much because it certainly <laughs> makes you visit the toilet. <laughs> all right, the next three products are all supplements. Um, so Ninja Red, amazing for energy, but just your overall health. It nourishes yeah. your whole body. That's coming with me to the desert island. Yeah. Okay. okay. So two. we do have such amazing supplements. I think, you know, people often think about Young Living as just an essential oil company, mm -hmm. but we have some of them, like any... Yeah, these are world-class supplements. If any of you were at Symposium, you would have heard Jen Knutson, who's a naturopath, talk mm -hmm. about how good our supplements are. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I definitely think that 
you know, when it comes to supplements, young women's right up there. Okay, so if that was the petrol for our car, this is actually the battery for our car. It's backwards, but it says Omega Jars. Okay, so Omega Jars is mostly fish oil. Is a good man, okay. You need um, good quality fish oils Sorry, because once good. again, like you can't make essential amino acids, we actually can't make essential fatty acids either. And essential fatty acids are the building blocks for our big organs, so our brain, our heart, our liver. And I know that as a mum who has made babies, um, what happens when we make our babies is our our babies can't make their own essential fatty acids, so they draw from the reserves in our body as a mum. We also, they also can't make calcium, so they draw from our calcium reserves, which is another reason to take a good magnesium calcium supplement. Mm. But in terms of fish oil, it draws from our brain and our heart and liver. So instead of those, the essential fatty acids in our body feeding our stuff, it actually goes into the brain. So they're into our baby. So there really is such a thing as baby, baby brain. brain. Yeah. Um, so, you know, not only did I give my girls my good looks and my brains, but I also gave them my essential fatty acids. <laughs> That's so sweet. That's so lovely. I would have given them essential fatty acids. Um, yeah. Now, I often hear comments um, from you guys, and um, I certainly know that um, I've heard from time to time people say, oh, you know, like I, and my mum says this, I just go to the health food shop and, and get, um, <laughs> yes, yes, it is, Christy Jeremy Brown. has yep. got fish on his shirt. Um, <laughs> I just go to the health food shop and get my fish oil from there. And, um, but the thing is a lot of fish oil in the market, you only have to go and look at the research article that Choice did on fish oils. You get more other oils in the fish oil than you do actual fish oil. And that's why when they tested them, a lot of people say, oh, fish oil isn't as good as krill and all this kind of stuff. But the reality is that they, you know, a lot of um, omegas out there on the market don't have as much fish oil as mm. Young Living does. And the other thing is that they fill their omegas up, their omega, omega-3s up with synthetic vitamin E as the preservative. And then, so what you're doing on the one hand with good fish oil, you're discounting on the other hand with the synthetic vitamin E. Yeah. So um, we don't want that. Young Living doesn't use um, vitamin E as their preservative they actually use essential oils so they use clove german chamomile and spearmint and the spearmint helps like if you're a person who gets um bad reflux from taking fish oil like you to get that taste well then with yeah. this you know it, it gives you that minty spearmint taste and as Marin says on there they're often rancid and they are a lot of yeah. fish oils are rancid whereas you know as i say young living includes the clove the german chamomile and the spearmint yeah. as a preservative to combat that rancidity now, so and i think someone was also talking about they're worried about taking it because fish oil tablets repeat on them so i think these would be worth trying because there's a couple of there's a couple of issues there one is that yeah they did a study and of fish oil tablets and i've forgotten what it was but it was more than half were actually rancid so that's not going to happen with these because of the essential oils yeah and they do there. have a use by yeah. date because yeah. they won't last forever no, no, quite, but yeah. the essential oils certainly help so yeah and the other thing is that a lot of fish um, you know, like people are concerned about environmental pollutants in the water and all of that mm. kind of stuff where the fish is produced. Again, another Young Living product meets the seed to seal standard. Young Living is constantly testing their yeah. fish oil and, you know, where they source it from and all of that kind of stuff. Um, the other, I, you know, essential fatty acids are only one ingredient in this, right? The fish oil, okay? The other thing is that it also has CoQ10. And a lot of people these days are having to take CoQ10 supplements because once again, as you age, your body doesn't make enough CoQ10, particularly if you're on medication for cholesterol and, um, and things like that, then it's stripping your CoQ10 a lot faster. So you need to take a supplement of CoQ10. The other thing that it has in it is vitamin D3. And um, I know that Kelly in our team did a comparison one day. Oh, yeah. She went yeah, yeah. to a health food shop and she went around and she looked at an equivalent fish oil, an equivalent vitamin D supplement and an equivalent CoQ10 supplement and the prices of all those. And she worked out that ours was like heaps, heaps cheaper yeah. because you're getting all three of those in that one supplement. And so particularly for those people out there who take 
those three supplements, then this is a great alternative. Mm. Um, it's strange to believe that in Australia we have people who have vitamin D su um, like su uh, sufficiencies. Um, yep. deficiencies, deficiencies yeah. <laughs> um, so but we sunlight. do have yeah. a lot of people who have vitamin D deficiencies and it's not necessarily that they're not getting enough supplement, um, enough sunlight, it's because the cells on, like in their body um, are clogged up with things like chemicals or they've got you know some kind of issue happening in their body where the vitamin D is floating around in their bloodstream but it's not actually able to get into the cell because the receptor sites are damaged and um, so they need to take a supplement. So this is a great supplement to take. Can I just go back? One thing about all the Young Living supplements and it's the same with all this stuff is when they were formulating this, it's not like they just go, oh yeah, let's put some fish oil in, let's chuck in a bit of you know, vitamin D, uh, all this stuff. And the essential oils, it's all, they've researched it. So they, they get the right balance. They get, you know, it, it all interacts, it synergizes, if I can use that word. So this is, this is like carefully formulated and well-researched. So it's state-of-the-art stuff. I guess that's what I'm saying, it's not, like some vitamin companies that just go, let's just chuck it all in a tablet and away we go. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not going to just peel the goodness out afterwards. Yeah. Fluoro colored wheat. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So once again, full of antioxidants. So that helps chase down those free radicals that I talked about before. Increased energy, improved cardiovascular health. This is a TGA approved product. So we can yeah. talk about those things. Improved cognitive health. So if you're, you know, as I said before, that baby brain, like it's, you know, you're still going eight years mm -hmm. after I had my last baby, or you've got brain fog, then look at taking Omega Gize yeah. to help with that cognitive you know health and the brain um, so what function. was this the spark plugs no it's the battery oh the battery yeah, yeah. okay it's the battery our car can't start without yeah. essential fatty acids that's the reality okay it doesn't matter how much petrol you put in it it's not going to get started without that mm -hmm. battery okay battery keeps us going keeps us going we need essential fatty acids to keep going if you're not having essential fatty acids on a regular basis even your you know your joints all of those kinds of things they're going to start to break down okay which brings me I'm to the sorry. next one which is the spark Tonight, because this is her spark plugs that gets her going every day. Um, so once again, we need the battery, and then we've got to get a bit of spark happening to keep to keep us going. So this um, is mineral essence. Is it is mineral essence. About. Now, the good thing about mineral essence is it's actually an ionic mineral supplement, which again, we talked about bioavailability before and how the essential oils in all our products actually make the things more bioavailable to us. Um, well, that's the same with mineral essence is that ionic minerals are far more able to be absorbed by the body than colloidal or organic minerals. Um, once again, I heard someone who will remain nameless but lives at Port Macquarie, well actually she lives at King Creek, <laughs> say to me, oh, you know, I can get my mineral supplement at the health food shop. And I said, really? And what kind of minerals is it? And she said, oh, I don't know. But the reality is that it's not an ionic mineral supplement and that's why it is cheaper. Yeah. Um, this is ionic minerals. Have you actually had a look at the back of these bottles and seen how many different minerals are in this okay it's huge like there's a whole heap of different um, and once again they're in the right levels because that's another important mm -hmm. thing that Young Living does is they go through and they make sure that they haven't put too much of one mineral in that will then strip your body of another mineral like they're very complementary so all the minerals are synergized together um, you know balanced if you like to make sure that they all you know work um, together rather than you know one overpowering another one so do you know the only problem with this stuff what? tastes terrible it does taste terrible <laughs> if you don't like the taste you can actually put the droppers underneath your tongue because you don't have say, any secret, taste yeah. or what we do every day is we actually add it to our um, ninja yeah, red yeah. so that then you're not tasting it as much it is in bee pollen um, well, it's it's royal, royal, jelly. Jelly, yeah, okay? royal jelly so um, if you're allergic to bees, then you know you probably shouldn't have it. But mm -hmm. when I first started, I swear I heard Alan Simpson say you take five drops of this. So for years, like probably five years, I used to just do five drops, drop, 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 not droppers, 
five drops. And then one day, someone in our team, I can't even remember who it was, sent me a message and said, when they say droppers, <laughs> um, I, don't even read, I don't even read instructions on Ikea furniture. I'm just a, like, let's just figure this one out. And so I never read the back of the, the bottle and um, I just took Alan's word for <laughs> Well, he probably did say droppers, but I heard drops and that's how I did it from then on. And after I started putting five droppers in my Ninja Red instead of five drops, boy, did it make a difference. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got, you know, the thing is about these products is that you really should read the label. Don't do um, me. Um, yeah, so, but the other thing is I heard one of you the other day say that they don't feel that it makes a difference to their health. Um, like anything with Young Living, you probably don't notice the difference that these products make until you stop taking them. I certainly notice on the days when I don't take Ninja Red that I am tired, yeah. I don't sleep as well, I don't have as much energy. But the thing about mineral essence and why you may not realise what it's actually doing to your body is that our body needs minerals to absorb the vitamins, okay? You can get all, like I started off by saying at the beginning, I didn't take any of the supplements because I used to tell myself, I'm healthy enough, I don't need to take the supplements, I'll just eat a healthy diet. But the reality is in modern day diets, we don't get enough minerals. Our food doesn't have enough minerals yep. in them. Um, like our tree, like our fruit trees and our veggies and things like that are growing in soil that is deficient in minerals unless the farmer is supplementing their fields with things like volcanic ash and stuff like that. We're not getting those minerals put back into the soil so the food's not absorbing it and because time after time after time there's no crop rotation and there's nothing going back in, we're not getting any minerals in our food and um, then we're mineral deficient. Our bodies aren't, it doesn't matter how healthy we eat, we're not able to absorb the vitamins because we're not taking the minerals. So you may not mm. think that your body feels any different as a result of taking mineral essence, but truly your body can't absorb the vitamins that you're taking as well if you're not taking a mineral supplement. So that's why I truly believe that mineral essence is a must in my top four products to feel healthier. And this stuff sneaks up on you. It does, particularly as you get older. Like, you know, I'm 43 now and I'm like going, I can't live without Ninja. <laughs> You'll never be able to keep up with me if you That's right, yes. Like <laughs> no, but I was, uh, what I meant was the benefits sneak up on you as well. Like, I think with Ninja, you notice that, well, you certainly notice when, when you don't take it, but yeah, it, give it a month or a couple of months and then you start looking back at how you felt before you took these supplements and you realize, man, I'm feeling so much better. So, yeah. So, so far we've given our body, which is the car, we've given it the petrol, we've given Ninja. it the battery, which is Mega Gize, we've given it spark plugs, which is Mineral Essence, and thirdly, we're going to give it the WD-40, <laughs> or the grease. Yeah, so the if grease. your body needs a good greasing, um, <laughs> if your joints and no, no, some of the bolts are starting to feel a bit stiff, then yeah. you need to creaky. give it some WD-40 or yeah. some grease. And that's exactly what Sulfazyme does, okay? Sulfazyme is another TGA, Therapeutic Goods Administration. They're the people who approve drugs and supplements here in Australia. Yeah. They have approved Sulfazyme um, to help reduce symptoms of mild arthritis. And it actually contains three main ingredients, which are MSM, methyl sulfone, something or other. Um, I can never remember. Methyl, well, they just call it dimethyl sulfone. Dimethyl sulfone. MSM. It's yeah. also got the Ninja Wolfberry Fruit Powder and Young Living's Copaiba Oil in it. Which, is, um, which they don't get in America. No, only Australia has the, the Copaiba in our Sulfazyme. Yeah. Um, MSM is actually a natural form of dietary sulfur. Mm -hmm. Now, another myth I just want to combat that I've heard you know, people ask me is, oh, but I'm allergic to sulfur. And I say, no, no, that's a different kind of sulfur. It's not the sulfur that they include in drugs. If you were allergic to this kind of sulfur, then you would be allergic to your hair and to your nails yeah. and to your skin, okay? If you've ever accidentally set fire to your eyelashes, like whether you were cooking or lighting something or um, or you've smelt rotten egg gas when you were doing chemistry at school, then that's the sulfur, okay? If you've accidentally ever burnt your fingernails um, and you smell that smell, that is what sulfur smells like. So sulfur is one of the main ingredients in our nails and our hair and our skin. And that's why, look, 
Mm. I cut my nails all the time and yet they grow so long and that's because of the sulfur that's in this ingredient. So if you know someone who's getting married and they want long nails and beautiful hair and great skin, get them to take some sulfur on. It's the best like bridal shower gift you could give any bride. Absolutely. Okay? I, I, was, I almost said I was bald before I started taking this stuff. And that would but be I so compliant, I Jeremy. Say, no, and it's not true. But it does make your hair very, yeah, it's good, good for hair, good for nails. And I guess the reason why I've got this is that I added it in as number four, and that's because, um, you know, particularly as we get older, our nuts and bolts do start to get a little bit stiff. <laughs> but everybody has hair, and everybody has skin, and everybody has nails, and we can all yeah. do with a little bit extra help in those areas. Um, but particularly, you know, greasing up those stiff bits. Yeah. Well, and the reason why, I think we can say the reason why it's good for the temporary relief of osteoarthritis is it's, it's also, you know, those uh, ingredients like copaiba are anti-inflammatory. Can we say that? No. Well, we can't say it. Forget I ever said that. Good. <laughs> Just a Oh, come on. I've been so good. <laughs> Anyway, on that note, <laughs> um, we're thinking about starting a new thing on a Thursday night for any of you guys that are interested in sharing um, with your friends and family. So over in our Team Valor Business Builders group, what's in my hair? Some kind of insect. Um, we're going to do a coffee and a chat. Um, late night coffee and chat every Thursday night from nine o'clock. Um, so if you are interested in sharing with your friends and you want to jump in on that group um, and ask questions mm. and stuff like that. Anyway, we'll put up a post in that separate group, but I just thought I'd do a little bit of a plug, yep. seeing as though I've got all your attention. Anyway. So four, four awesome things. Ninja, Ninja? Omega Jize, yep. Mineral Essence, and Soul Design. They're my top four. So yep. the winner of my roller ball, I... I did a competition today to see who would guess those four. Was Georgia Turner. Congratulations, Georgia, Georgia Turner. You yeah. are amazing. You were the first person who got it right. Yes. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, you were. You guessed pretty early on. And then I was like, oh, I'm not going to tell her. I did actually comment first and say, congratulations, you got it. And then I thought, no one else will keep guessing. So Awesome. Anyway. Hey, and if you have any suggestions for what you'd like us to talk about, that's always a good thing. We love to answer questions or talk about topics that you're interested in. So have a think and put them down in the comments below. We would really appreciate that. We love spending our Monday nights with you. It's always good until I put my foot in my mouth and say something that I shouldn't. I'll get smacked afterwards, but that's okay. Anyway, if you are only just tuning in now, make sure you check out the replay. We always post this to both our YouTube yep. channel, Hot Oily Mama, and we post it publicly on my Hot Oily Mama Facebook page. So if you've got friends who need to hear this information that aren't in our Team Valor Facebook group, you can always tag them in the other two or send them a link to the YouTube channel mm -hmm. yeah. um, and they can check it out there. There's so. lots and lots of good information on our YouTube channel. Yeah. All right, on that note, see you guys. We'll see you guys next see week. See you next Monday. Bye.